and welcome to Harper Pets free and easy educational program. Today we will be teaching you how to make your own game on Hyperpad. This is part one of our basic tutorial series. In this video, we will be showing you how you can add a character and still behaviors such as making the character bob, jump, and much more. At the top right corner of your screen, you can start a new project. Title it and then select the orientation and device support of your choice. You can then edit the gravity or leave it as it is. For more information, please refer to our manual available on our website. Over here, you're brought to the editor screen. Once there, you can import assets from Hyperpad's shop. Everything here is for free and for your use. The first one you want to download is the digital sound effects package. This package will help give you some sound effects and make your game more realistic. Next, you want to download the platformer starter pack which has all the assets needed to start a game. You will now be inputting the background for the game. Go to Scene Settings and select Background. Pick one of the three choices and edit it to whatever fitting you find best. There are five options for you to choose from. Next, we'll be adding a character. Let us name him Bob. and more assets to help develop your game. Drag and drop Bob onto the screen to continue editing him. From there, you can enlarge or reduce his size. You can also turn him 360 degrees. Next, you want to add in more behaviors to Bob. But first, you want to add more assets into the game. Drag and drop the selected assets that you want. Resize them to fit. Don't forget, you can use the copy and paste option to help with your designs. Click on Bob and go to Behaviors. From there, you can add in more controls to Bob, such as the joystick control. Now, Bob can go left to right, but you can see that he's sliding. and link the two behaviors of joystick left and joystick right to the play animation. Click on play animation and select the blank screen at the bottom. Go back to the Bob character options and select walking. You can then edit the frames per second. Now, when Bob walks, you can see his little legs move. Isn't he cute? Next, we want to be able to make Bob jump. Go back to Bob's behaviors, and you can see there's an option on the left side that says jump with button. Add it in, and there you have it. Bob can jump. We're going to show you how Bob can destroy coins. Get the coins from the asset pack and then add it onto the scene. Select the first coin and go to its behaviors. From there, go to object and dra drag and drop the collided behavior. Select Bob for the collision of object 2. 
So next you want to know what happens once it collides. Well, you want it to destroy object. Drag and drop that behavior and connect it. You'd also want it to play a sound. Remember the digital F sound effects folder we got before? Well now it comes into use. Select any sound of your choice and add it. Now, when you preview the game, when Bob collides with the coin, there is a sound and it disappears. Congratulations, you're done with part one of the basic tutorial.